Hi, I'm David Cook from RobotRoom.com, and today we're going to look at thermal imaging with the FLIR E4 thermal camera. This is the power supply section of an Atmel programming board, which I happen to notice gets hot whenever I use it. In infrared, I'm going to turn the power switch on, and you can see the various chips heating up. The chip on the right, you can see the die, the semiconductor die in the center, and the heat slowly spreading out from it. There's also a, a very interesting resistor in that lower right section. Keep watching it because I think it gets way too hot for a small resistor. A copper plane surrounds the voltage regulator, and you'll see that it's wicking heat away from that. And it's generally pretty effective. Let's turn off the board now and watch it cool down. Here's the tip of a soldering iron and we're going to turn that soldering iron on and you can see how very quickly it begins to heat up. And it's now exceeded the maximum temperature that the FLIR uh, can record. Here's a piece of solder getting melted onto the tip of the soldering iron. This is a sponge that you usually use to clean off the tip of the soldering iron. Notice how the sponge itself gets hot. I was surprised that it didn't cool off the soldering iron. If it does so, it's just not, not by very much. Let's add a little bit more solder back on. Here's a circuit board with a couple of extraneous wires that need to be desoldered. The problem with the imaging is as soon as the soldering tip is introduced to the scene, uh, it, it causes the rest of the board to appear dark blue. Every once in a while you can see traces on, of copper on the board. At this point, the board isn't getting hotter, it's the solder iron is removed, and so the hot spots are now being highlighted more brightly. You can see how the heat goes across the board. Putting the soldering iron underneath and trying to pull off the loose wires on top, you can still see the spread of heat. Obviously, the tip is right underneath there at that point. It's clear that the dip socket is heating up, but I'm surprised by how little heat transfers throughout the rest of the board. I mean, the coldest spot at this point is around 74 degrees, and the hottest is 110. It is kind of cool to see the traces light up when they're heated up from below. All of the heat from the soldering iron tip is transferring through a single plated through hole. Visit Robot Room to see how close-up images were taken and also to see more photos from the FLIR Infrared Thermal Imaging Camera. 